الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم ألهمنا مراشد أمورنا وأعذنا من شرور أنفسنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the surah after surah al-qasas which ended with the promise of almighty allah that the promise that allah made allah will indeed fulfill and that pedestal and mantle that has been promised it was promised to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah tbaruk wa made him reach it as he entered makkah mukarrama nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as in sajda he placed his head on the back of the animal he was mounted on as the light of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam started spreading and it spread throughout the world and it remains spreading throughout the world that promise was always fulfilled for this ummah almighty allah promised that this ummah will never be destroyed 1400 plus years have passed it has not been destroyed and again it will reach that high pedestal that almighty allah has promised for it the next surah is surah al ankabut ankabut refers to the spider in this surah almighty allah will draw a comparison between how a spider puts all its trust in its web it understands that this web will grab it will grab its food it will grab its insect as they will enter the web think of a insect and you will understand what message is given in the surah when an insect is caught in that web the more it moves and the more it tries to get out the more it harms itself if it remains calm the less it moves the better it is for it the web is made such that as an animal as the insect turns from side to side more of it gets stuck every part of that web has that sticky substance after falling in a trap a believer is supposed to immediately turn his mind to almighty allah instead of himself thinking of what to do to get out which is one of the mistakes people nowadays make A man got involved in an act which perhaps he never thought he will do but he did it. Now his family is at stake, his reputation is at stake. Now the devil comes and says to him to save yourself, just listen to me one more time. If you kill that woman that you got involved with or if you hire someone to kill her, no one will know about it. Your reputation will be saved, your name will be saved, your honor will be saved. it will be a sin which will be forgotten after a few days as it is in the country no one ever gets caught listening to the devil as that insect makes another turn in an attempt to get out of the web but it puts itself in a bigger problem whoever has listened to the devil and after falling in the trap again listen to the devil he never ever came out where will the devil ever arrow a person the very devil who brought the person into doing the worst of actions of having someone killed because of a previous action maybe of having a relationship out of marriage that very devil is always the one who makes the means for the person to get exposed iblis and the world of the shayateen hate man to see the disgrace of man is their shan is their honor it's their beginning their ending It's what they created for it's what they love for they have never ever come to help man out of his problem so the insect that tries to get out of the web is not going anywhere if it remains calm however and it understands that myself i cannot get out of this when that insect fights and it starts getting stuck more and more until a time comes it loses all its strength fighting against the web at the system of the web is the more you try to pull yourself out the more you get stuck in it loses all its strength and it ties itself up from all sides when every part of the insect is now caught in that web its wing cannot move its leg cannot move that pincers which it had for its protection cannot move that's when the spider now comes on the web now it comes for the final for the final deadly blow as long as that insect is showing the ability to still slightly defend itself 
despite it being caught in the web, the spider does not come. If that insect remained calm, but it was not. But for the people of Iman, they were supposed to take a lesson from the insect and the spider. That if it remained calm, the spider would not have come. It would have allowed itself extra time. It had to remain in that condition waiting for a bigger power to come and help. When the person of the house comes home, when the woman of the kitchen comes home, and they see the web of the spider, it is only natural that the broom comes out. That very big spider in front of the broom becomes very small. The charm that it showed in front of the insect in a second is lost. It is the end of the spider and whatever it trusted. How that spider trusts its web. Because it sees how weak the insect is in front of that web. Similarly, the devil and the agents of the devil, they have put all their trust also into the web of the devil. Because they saw how easily man is caught in that web. They also cannot remember or they also lost sight. They also fell into oblivion. And many a time the man who gets caught in the web, he also forgets. That for me this web is very strong. The web of the devil, we call it the net of the shaitan. Who knows why they gave the name the internet. Why they call it a world wide web. Some might say it was just coincidence. Those who go deeper will find nothing was coincidence in this game. This devil got a shan in him that he likes to show himself but not too loudly. He likes to be noticed but not in a way that everyone picks him up. That word web was to show that I got you trapped. I got you in a net. And because they found so many thousands falling in and not being able to come out, the devil himself and the agents of the devil, all of them put their trust in this web, thinking that no one will ever get out of this web. But as we have discussed already, and how we will continue discussing, Almighty Allah in every era, for every Fir'aun there was a Musa, for every Zalim there was a man of Almighty Allah, in every era there was an individual, there was a Jamaat that would manage to remain safe, the spider would not be able to bite. Rather, through their efforts, through their du'as, it would bring an end to the web of the spider, a collapse to that entire system. The beginning of the surah is Al-Ankabut, the spider. That this world that we live in is nothing but a trap. Almighty Allah allowed the spider to make his trap. Ahasiban nasu, what did man think a yutraku? That he will just be left to fly around, to move around, to enjoy this world. After having said, I believe in Allah. وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ Did he think there will not be a trap? وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Everyone was put through tests. The meaning of fitna is trap. The meaning of fitna is a test to see who will fall in the trap. فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا Indeed, Almighty Allah will see which person is truthful in his claim of amanna, wala ya'lamun al kathibin, and which person is a liar? In this world, there will be that group. Am hasib al ladina ya'malun al sayyat ayes biquna. One is the one that links up with the devil. They become the agents. They can be called knighted people on the highest level of the shaitani, the the jali system. And then there are those who are their followers, blind followers. In the hope of extra wealth, extra pleasure, Almighty Allah says, Do those people who do evil really think ayyasbiquna that they will manage to go ahead of us, that they will escape our punishment? Sa ama yahkumun. When the spider is looking at the insect, it thinks that this is the only world there is. It forgets that it, in relation to the bigger world beyond it, is nothing but a small spider. And its web, it's not a very strong web, but as the surah will describe, وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ buyut, Indeed, the weakest of houses in the end of the day is the house of the spider. مَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ اللَّهِ As for the one who understands that this world is just the test and the place of reward is somewhere else, 
For the one who has hope in meeting is Allah, فَإِنَّ أَجَلَ اللَّهِ لَآتِ Let him remember that the time of meeting is Allah is indeed coming. وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ Who will make an effort in this world. The surah starts with this وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ It will end وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُ With the same sentence. The one who will make an effort. The one who will understand their traps. The one who will fly in the world with his eye always looking. Looking out for the web of the spider. And when he does get caught, many a time he will get caught. In Quran, Almighty Allah taught us how to get out of the web of the spider. Almighty Allah in so many verses of Quran will speak about إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ طَائِفٌ مِّنَ الشَّيْطَانِ When they are knocked, when they are hit, with a bite of the devil, with a hit of the devil, تَذَكَّرُوا immediately they realize. فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْصِرُونَ Their eyes open up. What do they do after that? Their eye, their nazar, their dua turns to Almighty Allah. There is only one power that can bring man out of the trap, that can bring that web of the devil, the spider down to the ground. It is the power of Almighty Allah. Whenever man falls in a trap, the first is he cries to Almighty Allah. Instead of thinking himself of a way to getting out, instead of thinking of making another plan to save his izzat and his honor, he just gets caught more and more deeply into this until finally the devil shows him that suicide is the only thing you can do. As a poet said, and after killing yourself, now where do you think you will go? Because when you die, it's not the end, it's only the beginning. As for those people, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ The people who bring iman and make an effort to do good actions, لَنُكَفِّرَنَّ عَنْهُمْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ They will indeed make mistakes, a lot of mistakes. But because of the blessings of good actions, whenever they get stuck on the web, Almighty Allah will remove them. وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَحْسَنَ الَّذِي كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ The evil will be wiped away. Their good will be recorded. They will find rewards for the good. This is a world of examination. And perhaps the hardest exam in this world comes when you don't have the support of your own family. Almighty Allah gives an example. وَالْوَصَّيْنَ الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حُسْنًا Indeed it was us, we had ordered man, we had given him a very great strong command that you must behave with your parents, you must look after your parents, you must be kind to your parents. But the biggest imtihan, the biggest test is when the parents themselves do not want to accept Almighty Allah. وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ The time comes where that mother who gave her life for her child, that father who spent everything for the child, and the child is not disobedient, he is an obedient, good character child. He has complete love for his parents. And now the parents say to him, لِتُشْرِكَ بِهِ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ That, O oh, my beloved son, I am not happy with you accepting this deen of Islam. I am not happy with you becoming a Muslim. Sahaba radiallahu anh went through this. This was perhaps the biggest imtihan in their life. That the person who they had the most connection with, the most love with, there were those Sahaba radiallahu anhum who in their house, their mother was the beginning and everything of their life. They grew up without a father. The mother spent on them, looked after them. Now she begged one Sahabi radiallahu anhum's mother. Finally she said, I will not eat until you tell me you will leave this deen. Looking at his mother in that condition, going through days of hunger, days of hunger. But what a heart in the ending. How it must have been so difficult for him. But he said to his mother, Oh my mother, I will allow to see you dying, no matter how painful it is for me, but I will not manage to leave this deen. There were those whose parents would kick them out of the house. They would show them, I want nothing to do with you. Almighty Allah showed what an exam it was going to be. They went through that exam. Our exam is much easier than this year. Strength comes from Almighty Allah. We might have the people around us who will not support us. They might ask us to disobey Almighty Allah. Almighty Allah says, we were the ones who gave the order to be kind to your parents. But at the same time, we gave the order, فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا If they order you with the disobedience of Almighty Allah, إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ Then remember, you are all coming back to Almighty Allah. How much your father means, how much your mother means to you, but Almighty Allah is the beginning and the ending of all. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ It is when exams come, that really the test starts. This is, أَيْ يُتْرَكُوا أَيْ يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ Did man really feel that test will not come? 
Almighty Allah says, amongst the people are those who say, Amanna Billah. They say, we believe in Allah. فَإِذَا أُوذِيَ فِي اللَّهِ But when difficulty comes in the path of Almighty Allah, جَعَلَ فِتْنَةَ النَّاسِ كَعَذَابِ اللَّهِ What was meant as a test to see the loyalty, they do not regard it as a test and try to pass the test. They regard it as a punishment. They begin asking and complaining and saying, I was reading my Surah Yasin for so long. Why did this happen to me? That was not supposed to have been said. That was not supposed to be done. It was an exam. And Almighty Allah has opened this world for exams. How a teacher gives his exam to his prized student. And sometimes he makes the exam even harder compared to the other students. When that student looks at the teacher in the eye and he says, Why did you do this to me? The teacher will say that if you were created to enjoy this world, I would not even have given you one exam. But you have been created to shine in this world. For you to enjoy there's another world. Examinations come in this world. It was never meant as a punishment. If Almighty Allah wanted to punish, which of one of us is not deserving of the punishment of Allah? But these tests that come on the way towards Almighty Allah was never meant as a punishment. Each one was meant that man could prove to his Allah, وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ Definitely Allah will see who are really believers and who are nothing but hypocrites. Almighty Allah save us all from the traits of hypocrites. Before that verse, Almighty Allah says, أَوَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِأَعْلَمَ بِمَا فِي صُدُورِ الْعَالَمِينَ Does man not know that Almighty Allah is well aware of what's in the heart of all people? If we have this in us, we complain sometimes when difficulties come. These are doubts and thoughts that come in as long as we feel bad about it. As long as we ask Almighty Allah to forgive us and we understand that it is not correct for us to complain in this path when difficulties come to attribute the difficulty to our own sins and to understand this world is the world of imtihan. My Allah is taking my test more than I'm worried about the test being closed and wrapped up. More than that I have to worry about while I pass the test. When the boy enters the examination room, he is told don't worry about the three hours passing. The three hours is going to pass. After three hours, everyone is going to be told leave the examination hall. All of us, we are in a world of exam. With death, our exam will come to an end. Sometimes one exam closes, another one starts. Instead of wondering and worrying about when will the test come to an end, the boy is told, the girl is told, worry about the answers you are writing on the test paper. Because after this examination, there's going to be a world of rewards. If you manage to get the right answers, you will never see exams after this. If you do not put the right answers, perhaps you will never see happiness after this. You know, Almighty Allah allow us all to pass every examination in this path. Almighty Allah then gives examples of the many great servants of Almighty Allah. How great they were, but they also went through very great exams. According to the greatness of the person comes the test. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ Indeed, we had sent Nuh alayhi salam to his people. How long was his test? فَلَبِثَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَسَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامًا He remained amongst them for 950 years. Me and you might just say people in that era lived very long. It was not that day. Nabi Yusuf, Nuh alayhi salam was blessed, blessed with a life longer than the normal people of his era. Sometimes the sons and the grandchildren would say that you went to our fathers, you went to our grandfathers, don't you feel shy, you're still coming to us? Haven't you got tired of coming? One was the exam of so long, a bigger exam on his hands, Almighty Allah had made muqaddar, had destined that very few people will bring iman. Amazing an exam this was, ulama have written, if the success of Nuh alayhi salam was in such a long time, you must make sure you get example 1,000 people who believe, who trust, who accept your deen. Then it would have been said that Nabi Nuh alayhi salam, na'udhu billah, was not successful in his mission. That was never ever the criteria for success. The criteria for success is, was that the examination that you have been given to continue striving for Allah, will you continue even if you see no results? In that manner when Nuh alayhi salam continued for 950 years, he came out of the exam with the highest of marks. 
That is why he is known as the Ulul Azam. Those Anbiya alayhim salam of the greatest determination. When you see no one accepting, it is only natural you start losing heart. You start giving up. Nabi Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam was not going to give up. فَإِنْجَيْنَاهُ وَأَصْحَابَ السَّفِينَةِ Until the time came where he and the people of the boat set out and Almighty Allah destroyed the rest. Almighty Allah speaks about Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Finally, Almighty Allah says when they intended اُقْتُلُوهُ أَوْ حَرِّقُوهُ After so much of bahas, munazara, discussion with the people, they said kill him, burn him. Almighty Allah says we saved him, but no one was going to believe. Many of them saw his fire becoming a garden. Even that was not going to make them فَآمَنَ لَهُ لُوت His nephew Nuut salam believed وَقَالَ إِنِّي مُهَاجِرٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي Ibrahim alayhi salam also went through an exam. He was Khalilullah, the beloved of Allah. If someone was not going to be tested, if someone was not going to be taken through trials, it would have been Ibrahim alayhi salam. From day one, Allah would have kept him in a garden. That fire that became the garden, even that garden he was not allowed to keep. He had to make hijrat from his land. He had to go very far. And that was only the beginning of his trials. Hijrat, normally a man says, I went through a major test and now I think it's finished. And that's just the beginning of the test. Ibrahim alayhi salam leaving his people was not the end. Normally when we go through a test, now we wait now that now my Allah will reward. Now my doors will open up for the selected servants of Almighty Allah. According to the strength of the heart of the individual, their happiness is in the heart. Whether their doors open or their doors do not open, Almighty Allah knows our weaknesses. We cannot manage, but we take inspiration from these people. Ibrahim alayhi salam's exam did not end when he made the hijrat. It only began. وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَجَعَلْنَا فِي ذُرِّيَّتِهِ النُّبُوَّةِ In his progeny, we were now going to place nubuwa because test after test after test, Ibrahim alayhi salam walked through all of them as the servant of Almighty Allah. Nabi Lut alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam's nephew, he himself could not rely, I am the nephew of Khalilullah. Oh Allah, how can you test me? What a test he was put through. إِذْ قَالَ لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الْفَاحِشَةِ مَا سَبَقَكُمْ بِهَا مِنْ أَحَدٍ مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ When he said to his people, you have entered into such a filthy act, before you no one in the world has ever done this year. أَيِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الرِّجَالِ وَتَقْطَعُونَ السَّبِيلِ وَتَأْتُونَ فِي نَادِيكُمُ الْمُنْكَرِ In your gatherings you'll do the filthiest of actions and you'll have chosen men over women and you hit the highways, people who are traveling, putting their trust in Almighty Allah, innocent people, for you it is a game to rob them, to injure them, to kill them and to take that which is not yours. فَمَا كَانَ جَوَابَ قَوْمِهِ What answer they were going to give except mockery they would say to him, bring the punishment in kunta min as exam after exam. Wa ila madyana akhahum shu'iba. Shu'iba alayhi salam goes to his people. It's the same thing, making fasad fil ardi, also attacking on the highways, on the roads. The caravans were making made. It was like lamb in front of these wolves. They would go wild. No one could stop them from the evil. And in their own bazaars, everyone was just stealing. Everyone was robbing. It was just money, money, money. It was not only them. وَعَادًا وَثَمُودٍ وَقَدْ تَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ مِنْ مَسَاكِنِهِمْ There were so many nations in the past. وَزَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ Shaytan made their filthy evil actions look so nice for them. Every one of them in the era, there was someone who stood up and tried to stop them from the evil. What an exam it was for that person. In the era, there was always those people who did not like when they would see the evil of these people. What an exam it was for them. It was called the exam of sabr. وَقَارُونَ وَفِرْعَوْنَ وَهَامَانَ وَلَقَدْ جَاءَهُمْ مُوسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ Musa a.s. when he goes into the court, it is not only Fir'aun he has to worry, it's not only Haman, but in his own family he has Qarun also. All of them deep in evil, deep in zulam. Allah Tabarukullah says in the end of the day, فَكُلَّنْ أَخَذْنَا بِذَنْبِ We grabbed all of them because of their sin. But this is a world of exam. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَا كَمَثَلِ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ The example of those people 
who have put their trust in those besides Almighty Allah. The devil himself put his trust in his own powers. The agents of the devil put their trust in the devil. All of them looked at the web that they had made and they said, what a wonderful web. Almighty Allah says their example is just like that of the spider that built its house. اتَّخَذَتْ بَيْتَ وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ Whereas the weakest of houses indeed is the house of that spider. This world will one day come to an end. This entire fitna and trap will be brought collapsing to the ground. Before that time, however, Almighty Allah allowed the spider to weave its web so that those that have to get caught into the web, for them they will get caught. As for the people of Iman, every Nabi came to tell the people that when you will slip and fall, you will be in the grasp of the devil. The easiest way to get out, to not allow the spider to bite you and kill you, to make you his meal, easiest way to get out is whenever you slip, return to Almighty Allah with your heart, with your mind, with your tongue. Call out to Almighty Allah and you will find that the strength of the web starts becoming weak immediately. That sticky substance loses its stickiness and man finds himself able to stand up again. This is a path where man walks. We fall more in the spot than we walk. But all who walked in the spot, who threaded the spot, had one sentence. They would say, we walked, we fell. After falling, we stood and we tried to walk again. That's the crux of it. We walked, we fell. After falling, we stood again and we carried on further. With Tawbah and Istighfar, man who makes one step, two steps, three steps, then he rolls ten steps back. The world will say, you say you are going nowhere. The person of Iman will say, I am going very far. Because my Almighty Allah was not going to see how far I came. He is going to see how I continue trying to come far. As long as man is making his effort to move forward in the spot, no matter how many times he is slipping and falling back, if death meets him in the condition that he is trying to take still one step forward in the direction of Almighty Allah, he will be a person regarded as the one who reached Almighty Allah. Almighty Allah speaks about this exam, that no matter how difficult it is, and one of the hardest part of this examination is when man will find that perhaps my business will suffer. If I have to remain firm on the commands of Allah, perhaps my name will suffer, my izzat will suffer, my money will suffer, my sustenance will suffer. Almighty Allah gives an example. Almighty Allah addresses, Ya ibadi al amanu O my servants who have brought iman. The meaning of this iman is, do you not trust your Allah? Inna ardi wasi'a. Remember the land of Almighty Allah is very spacious. There is not only one door from which your food can come. By Almighty Allah, there are many doors. فَإِيَّا فَعْبُدُونِي Trust me, worship only me, and you will find if one door is made to close upon you, we will open up for you another door. How is it that we are worried of our sustenance? Almighty Allah says, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ ثُمَّ إِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ Man says, if I don't get something, perhaps I'll die. Almighty Allah says, even if you get whatever you want, the day you're going to die, everyone is going to die. Every individual will one day have to taste of death. Having no food for a few days does not bring death. Death comes to the people who got food also. ثُمَّ إِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ As for those people who had done good in this world, لَنُبَوِّئَنَّهُمْ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ Perhaps in this world, they did not have the smartest of houses, but in paradise, we will create for them the best of mansions. تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا Forever and ever they will recite therein نِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ What a wonderful reward for the people who would try to do good. الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا There was exams in this world. They would remain patient on that exam. وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Shaitan would put a doubt in them. Where will your help come from? They would put their trust in Allah. Allah says, why is it that you will not trust Allah? Do you not think Allah will send your sustenance, will send your aid? وَكَأَيِّمْ مِنْ لَا تَحْمِلُ رِزْقَهَا Look around you. How many of the animals, the birds you will see, they do not carry their sustenance. They have no bank balance. They got no cupboard in their nest. Every day they go out to search for the food of their day. They do not carry their sustenance. Allahu yarzuquha. 
Indeed, it is not but Allah who is looking after them, who is providing for them. How unique is this verse? Allah who yarzukuha. It is Allah who is looking after them. And then man will say, Indeed, Allah is looking. Wa iyakum. Almighty Allah says, Forget about the bird. Forget about the animal. It is Allah looking after you also. It is Allah looking after me. Wa huwa sami'ul alim. Allah is the one who gives to who he wants. Yabsutur rizqa li may yasha min ibadihi. From his servants, Almighty Allah opens his doors for some. And for his servants, wa yaqdirula. For some of his servants, he closes doors. Having a door closed is an exam. Having a door open is an exam. Some people think that the test is very easy. They find the door open. So when he comes out of the examination hall, he says, what an easy test. I just hit it hard. I scored it through. And then when he sits with his friends, going over the questions, he realizes it was all trick questions. He failed in every point. As for the other, when he sat down, he felt the test very hard. He put his mind onto it. He saw other people smiling in the examination hall. He was not smiling. With every answer he was writing his du'as, he found his doors closed in this world. Some people will find sustenance coming very easily. They should not think that this is the favor of Allah alone. Nay, it is also an exam. There is a trick in it. There is a trap in it. Man has to look at it with that fear. It must not happen that Almighty Allah is giving me something now. And on the count of this, I will lose everything tomorrow. As for the other person who finds difficulty, as the person writes that exam paper which is difficult, with dua, with effort he writes it, but he knows after this exam, if I pass, there will be no exam after this. Inna Allah bi kulli shay'in alim. End of the verse, Almighty Allah says, end of the ruku, وَمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَهُ وَلَعِبْ Remember this world, is nothing but a place of amusement. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةِ It is the year after. لَهِيَ hayawan. That is what you will call real life. That's the place to really live it up. Live for the year after. Because there you will find real life. The last verse of the surah, which was at the beginning of the surah, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا That group who will be ready to strive for the pleasure of Almighty Allah. That group that will be ready, despite the exams that will come on this path, they will never jump away. They will never look at it as an exam, as a punishment from Almighty Allah. But they will understand, I'll have to write this paper also. With dua, they will go through it. With looking at Allah and asking for help, they will go through it. Asking the people of dua for dua, asking the people of courage to make dua that they get courage. Making effort, giving sadaqah, somehow or the other we need to pass this examination. If we can get through this examination, Almighty Allah says, the one who makes an effort to walk towards us, لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ subulana. We promise we will open up the paths leading towards us. It's like the teacher who says to his student, that I know you all do not like examinations. I know you all would like a life where there could be studies only and then holiday, no exam. But without an exam, there is no promotion. Then that teacher says to the students, Do not think I do not like you all. Do not think I don't share your feelings. Do not think I do not know how difficult it is for you all to study. He says, but I promise you, if you make an effort for a few days, when you will come and sit in the examination hall, you will find the answers just coming in front of you. In every question, you will find a hint towards the answer. That person who promises himself, and he lives up to that promise that, O oh Allah, I will strive. I don't know if I will get the right answer every time, but I will indeed make an effort. Allah Tawarukullah says, that's all we are asking. You make the effort. لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ subulana. We will open up for you the different doors leading towards us. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Indeed, Almighty Allah will always be with the people who try, the people who try to do good, the people who try to be perfect. When the teacher sees a certain student, on him are the signs of great effort. He studied for nights and nights. His eyes are weary. You could see the strain on his face. He has not sleep and slept for a few days. The teacher feels pity. The teacher comes and stands at his side. As he is writing his answer, the teacher is also looking. When the teacher notices he is going to slip, he has missed the trick question. The teacher will make some indication. 
it will wake him up again. Almighty Allah's aid comes for those people who are looking for the aid of Allah. Those people whose outside shows that they are making an effort. Almighty Allah, on account of the outside of a servant alone, forget on the inside, just on the outside, as long as there's sincerity in this. Almighty Allah takes pity and helps the individual to pass the hardest of examinations. May Almighty Allah make all our imtihans easy. Allah tabarak ta'ala never allow us to slip and fail in every exam. As they were selected servants of Allah in the past, Ibrahim alayhi salam was one. How Allah tabarak ta'ala says, وَإِذِ بَتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَات Remember when the Rabb of Ibrahim took so many of examination of so many tests from him, but how wonderfully he passed all of those tests. قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا Upon which we announced that we have now made you the leader of mankind. Almighty Allah in His kindness, Almighty Allah in His fadl, allow us also to pass the exams of Almighty Allah with afiyat, with izzat, with rahat, and with salamati, and because of which Almighty Allah allow us also to stand as the leaders of mankind. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ